Hey guys, welcome to A Taste of Mexico. Today is a pretty awesome day because we got so many things going on for one dish. Very easy to do at home though, so don't get scared about it. It's something that we got on our brand new menu here at Zocalo. We switched it up a little bit for dinner. I want to show you how this thing gets started. It's called Cochinita PB. It comes from uh, the south of Mexico. Uh, they're wood chips that you can buy, and you soak them for about 30 minutes, and then we're going to put them into our hotel pan. This is called a hotel pan. You can do it in your baking pan at home. And you put a little bit of foil so you don't mess your, your dishes up there. I'm just going to kind of spread this out. And then get your grill going outside as high as you can. Crank it up pretty high. And then we're just going to toss this pan onto our grill. Now let's let that sit for a few minutes and let the smoke start to come out of that. Over here, we'll start getting on our on our meat marinade, achiote. Uh, it's this very red, very deep red color. It has kind of a citrusy flavor, and it, and you can find it in any Mexican market. Other things I got going on is fresh garlic, cinnamon, bay leaf, clove. I have uh, some habanero chiles, which kick a lot. And uh, to kind of balance everything out, with, I have some agave nectar. So I'm basically just going to throw everything into my blender here. Cut the uh, seeds off. And we're looking for kind of a, a coarse uh, marinade here, so we don't want to puree it up too much. The meat is going to be cooking with all this different flavor, and it takes about four hours to cook. Just a little bit of sweetness. One thing I did forget to mention is some orange juice, so I have about five oranges here that I juiced. And I don't want this too runny. I want it nice and thick, so I don't want to put too much. Salt, you never forget salt. And I'm going to blend this up. I have pork shoulder, which you can find in the stores. It might be called pork butt there as well. And I'm going to season this first with a little bit of salt. And then we're going to dump all of our marinated ingredients on there. And we're going to put it on banana leaf. Now I salted this up nicely. I wanted to go pretty heavy with the salt because this is really the last time I'm going to get to season this meat. Take my glove off here. And then we're going to dump in the marinade. Now, I did put quite a few ingredients in this marinade. Sometimes that can be a, a distraction of not wanting to make a dish. If you don't want to use all those you know, get the basics. Get your cinnamon, get the garlic. Uh, you don't even have to put the pepper if you can't find it. Definitely want to find that achiote seed. Look at the color that we got going on here. It's incredible, super pink. And that is really just gonna sit in there. Now what I'm gonna do is dump it, like I said, in this banana leaf. Make sure I get all that marinade out. Awesome. And I'm gonna wrap this up. I got one more piece I'm gonna put on the top. Wrap the whole thing. Make sure it's like one big package. And if you can see the, the pan I have underneath it, it has holes. It's a perforated pan. That's going to help to bring the smoke up through the pan. It's gonna, The smoke's going to hit the banana leaf and everything's going to impart into our meat. I'm going to wrap this up with a little bit of foil. You don't want any of that smoke to leak. Now something you should know, I don't want my dish to only taste like smoke. So I'm going to leave it on the wood chips, let that get going and, and smoky. And I'm only going to leave it for about a 45 minutes to an hour just to impart a little bit of smoke, but not only taste smoke when we're finished off. All right, let's go to the grill. OK, so we've had our meat off for about 45 minutes to an hour. Now remember, we don't want to cook the meat here the whole time because then it'll only taste like smoke. We just want that little bit of flavor. What I'm going to do is finish it off in the oven. I got my oven at 275 degrees. Now this dish does take a little bit of time, so if you have some friends coming over, remember that you need about four hours to cook it. It's not four hours of prep time, it's just four hours of cooking. So I'm going to pull this off, and again, we've got one on top of the other. Look at all that smoke coming out. That is going to be so awesome. I'm going to put it in another one, another pan, and then we're going to finish this off in the oven. I did this same process yesterday, and this was my end result. So look at the color. It almost has like an orangey-ish color, and that's from obviously from our achiote. The meat is super tender, and I'm going to finish it off. I got a little bit of butter, and then if you get in here, Chris, 
I take, I took all the same ingredients that we used for the marinade, but I added more agave nectar to it, and I'm making a glaze. So that's been sitting in there for about 45 minutes. It got all nice and thick on me. Add some butter in my pan, and I'm just gonna finish this dish off. Once this butter starts to become brown, it's gonna give a nice nuttiness to the flavor. It's gonna caramelize the outside of the meat and become perfect, perfect, perfect for dinner. We'll just let that sit for about three minutes. I don't want to touch too much because I want it to caramelize on the bottom of the pan. The more you touch, the less caramelization you get. Look at that color we're going for. That is the color and caramelization we're looking for. This is just about to be finished. Now I'm going to add my glaze into the pan. So we got the nice flavor of the butter in there. Everything's nice and caramelized up. That glaze, it was super thick. I'm just going to pour a tad into it. And that's going to be our sauce for the dish. Look at the color change on here. It is ready to be served. Well, let's go to the plate. Very simple. I took the same banana leaf that we cooked the meat in. Cut it up just for a little plate presentation. Put my meat here in this dish. I'm going to top just a little bit of more of my glaze on top of this meat here. A couple of little sides for this. I got a few. One, pickled red onions. I just pickled this in a little bit of uh, orange juice, lime juice, red wine vinegar. It has habanero chile in it still. Put that on the side. Put this guacamole here on the side as well. And then for the people that love heat, this is some habanero salsa. Uh, man, I'm ready to start eating. Thank you guys so much for coming out. I really appreciate it. Remember, every other week we got videos coming through. This one's a Cochini TV. You will definitely find it on our brand new menu here at Socalo. Come check us out. Thanks and have a great day.